everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing one of my favorite monthly food subscription boxes and this box right here is Universal Yums. For those of you who don't know, Universal Yums is a foreign food subscription box that sends you snacks and treats from around the world. They do have three different box sizes and I will say that this is their January box and as of their January box they did raise their prices by a couple of dollars but I'm still going to go over all of the pricing. So they have a Yum box which gives you five to seven snacks for $16 a month. I have the notes here now that changed. They have the Super Yum box, which gives you 10 to 12 snacks for $27 a month. And then this one right here is the Super Yum box, which is 18 to 20 snacks for $41 a month. And I know that this one did used to be $39, so they did raise it up $2. But anyway, if you are interested in any of these boxes, I will have the information down below in the description box as well. I do also have a referral code to get you $5 off your first box. And if you're into subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, we're going to go ahead and dive right into this box. So it arrived today and I'm super excited. It usually comes nicer, but I already went through everything. So this month, it is the Netherlands. So it does come with a book that has like some trivia and then it goes over all of the snacks that you get. It does also come with like a little brochure here and then you can rate the snacks. Let's see, so it's favorite, worst, and weirdest, and then you can take a picture of this, post it to social media, and you have a chance to win extra snacks. You can vote on a future box, Bulgaria, Greece, or Romania. And this is pretty cool. I've never done anything with these yet, but I really should rate the snacks. I think it would be cool to do. And then all of your items look something like this. And I will say that I'm not going to be trying the snacks. I'm just here to give you an overview of what's in the box. If you want somebody who is trying snacks, I am sorry, I am not the right person. This is not the right video. But if you just want a quick overview, then you are in a good spot. And then they do also include in the box a little sticker. It used to be on your box, but now they just include it here. So it says, I went flower picking, and then it's crossed off and says flavor picking in the Netherlands. So this is really cute. I'm starting to keep these stickers because I think they're adorable. But then let me go ahead and dive right in since we have a lot of snacks to get through. Okay, so the first item in the bag is some potato chips, and according to their little pamphlet here, you could have gotten three different types, and I guess I'll include a picture on the screen so you can see it. So they randomly chose for you, but you could have gotten sour cream and onion potato chips, salt and pepper potato chips, or cheese and onion potato chips. And I would have loved the sour cream and onion, or even the cheese and onion would have been cool, but I did get the salt and pepper ones, which I mean I will still enjoy. But here's what they look like. This is classic seasoning on a one-of-a-kind chip. So they still look really good. Salt and pepper is not as much of my favorite, but I'm still really excited about these. And then we'll switch it over to a classic from the Netherlands. We have some Stroop waffles here and they are fantastic. So it says taste the original Dutch sensation. And it seems like you get two in here. Yes, so you do get two cookies, which is exciting. You can share with somebody or keep it for yourself. No judgment. And then the next item is some Dutch candy cars. So this is juicy strawberry, black currant, and cherry flavored candies, which is really cool. Let's see what else we have here. So next is some aged Gouda cheese crispy. So it says crunchy, cheesy, and authentically Dutch. They look very good as well. Everything always looks good. Oh, this is unique for sure. So this is soft licorice and fruit gummy. So this fruit and licorice make quite the juicy combo. So I know that I would like the juicy fruity part liquor wish, not exactly on board with, but I will still give them a try. Then we do have some cookies and I'm going to totally mess up the name, but they're chocolate covered crude knot in cookies. I'm probably saying that wrong and I really apologize. It's milk white and dark chocolate spice cookies. And something like this did come in their December box. So for December, they do have like a ton of different countries in one box. And I do remember packaging that looked just like this. Have not tried it yet, but it's kind of cool to see them again. Then we're going to switch it over with a really large thing of cookies, like 14 ounces of cookies here. This is a lot. So this is a coziest spice cookie ever, you decide. So it looks like they're Dutch speculas. I'm probably pronouncing everything wrong and I feel like really, really bad. And I'm sure these are going to be delicious. They're probably like that cookie butter stuff. Anyway, super excited about this. I might open these tonight. Then we're going to switch it up with some chocolate and it's a hazelnut cream milk chocolate bar. So it's Dutch cocoa plus rich hazelnut cream filling. Packaging is pretty cool on this. 
I will say that I do live in Florida and this does not feel melted at all. So that's always a huge plus. So the next item here, don't really know if I'm going to enjoy it, but they are Dutch Licorice Bites. So it says shapes like canal houses taste like magic. And that's so cute that they're actually shaped like little houses. That's adorable. Not a huge fan of Licorice, but I will still give them a try, of course. And then we have some cheddar and raspberry cheese crisps, and these sound delicious. So it says sweet, savory, and absurdly addictive. I bet they are. They look really good as well. I love like cheese crisp things. They always taste so yummy. Next item is unique, and it's a marshmallow candy stick. So it says sweet marshmallow taste in a crunchy stick. And this is a pretty large stick, as you can see. Mine is broken in a couple different spots, but I mean, that's not a deal breaker for me. I'm still going to give it a try. I would never eat the whole thing anyway at one time. I'm sure this is like a ton of sugar. But anyway, let's move along. The next item I'm like really, really excited about for as well, and it's a big box, which is great. This is cinnamon cookie sticks. It says every inch is coated in warm Dutch cinnamon, which sounds absolutely delicious. I know these are probably going to go very fast in my house. Then we do have some Gouda and Indian Spice Biscuits, and these sound very interesting. It says made with the finest blend of spices. So it looks like it has spices like turmeric, pepper, and nutmeg. Wait, it says just kidding, kind of. Not entirely sure what that means, but I will have to give these a try and see what they taste like. Then we have something very unique, and these are rosemary hummus chips. So it says fresh from the gardens of the Netherlands. I've never tried hummus before, to be honest. And I know that probably sounds strange because I know a lot of people have. So this will definitely be interesting for me. And then let's see, we're getting down towards the end here. What did I do with the last item? Okay, so we have some twists on the classics. And these are black olive and aged cheese kind of item. What is it, a biscuit? Okay, it's a biscuit. So it says real cheese, real olives, real, real good. So basically... As it says here, they're black olive cheese biscuits. I don't like olives, but I'm still going to give these a try because I like cheese and biscuits. So I like two out of the three. And then of course we have to end with another Stroop waffle. And this is a milk chocolate and caramel Stroop waffle, the Dutch classic for chocolate lovers. And I have a feeling this is a chocolate covered one. And that is so exciting. You do only get one of these, but better than nothing. And then you do also get a little tiny yum bag. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and then we'll go through the candies in there. So every box does get a yum bag, but I think you do get extra candies if you subscribe to the bigger box. But here's an idea of how many that I get and I'll count them out for you and let you know how many I got for mine. All right, so it looks like there are four different candies and I got four of each. So I got 16 candies in total. And the first one, are sour watermelon candies and here are what they look like it says a burst of watermelon with every chew so i'm assuming these are kind of like those super sour candies what are they called i can't think of the name right now but i know what they are like those what is it like i almost feel like i have to look it up because it's going to bother me that i can't think of it warheads that's it i got it just as i was about to stop this video and look it up warheads they are warheads okay so they're probably similar to that. Watermelon's probably going to be really cool. And they did also include the same type of candy, but lemon flavor. Oh, they must like sour candy. So the next one here is sour violet candies. It says, never has a flower been so mouthwatering. And then the last one is something that I am not going to be able to pronounce. So I'm just going to hold it up. That word right there is this one or maybe I got them backwards I'm not really sure but this is, says the Netherlands beloved salty liquor wish so if I had to take a guess now because they look almost the same in the book like this one actually looks darker but one of these is violets one of these is liquor wish not entirely sure which is which at this moment because they're from the same brands but I guess I'll find out when I try them but anyway that brings me to the end of this unboxing and honestly there are some really good items in here. I could do without the liquor wish, not going to lie, but I am super excited like about these cinnamon cookies and these cookie biscuits here. Obviously I'm really into the sweet stuff right now, but go ahead and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think this box is worth it? Is it not worth it? If you subscribe to this box, what are you most interested in trying or what did you think of the snacks? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Again, if you are interested, I do have a $5 referral code that you can save money on your first box. 
But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.